presenter, a mother, a homemaker, a content creator, a serial beautifier of things. And well, here I am at GQ's first food and drink festival. 2020 has been a real game changer. I mean, an online food and drink festival, who would have thought, right? But yet, here we are. So let me tell you a little bit about how I've been spending my days. Um, the lockdown has been quite the revelation for all of us. For me in particular, I've never been in one city for so long uh, at a stretch before this. So I've really learned to sort of find some quiet and calm. Um, the good thing is I've been meditating a lot, which is really nice because I find me time to be a huge luxury. And uh, yeah, I've been keeping it sort of fun, changing around corners of my house, uh, playing around with the aesthetics and making sure that time isn't just melting one day into another. So here's what a typical work day looks like. Work from home, shoot from home, homeschooling, ideating, lots of meetings and a lot of time spent in planning and shooting stuff. But the weekends is where I really like to have fun and I've been making sure that the weekends are extra special for all of us at home. So um, it involves an extra lie-in in the morning, a late start, a slow, easy start, a nice grandiose breakfast um, and you know we've really been enjoying that quite a bit and uh, sort of followed by spa rituals at home, just really taking care of yourself, a few face masks, I even put them on for my husband sometimes and uh, you know post prandial naps lunch and of course my favorite time which is cocktail hour so yes you guessed it right i am a gnt girl but long before the gnt trend started i mean um, for me my love affair with gin probably started when i was in england and i could trace it back to you know the time that i was studying there and um, it was definitely my drink of choice. I also remember as a little girl, my father would, you know, always make sort of uh, gimlets over the weekend. And I remember my mom and her elegant friends all dressed in either saris and pearls or jumpsuits, um, sitting in, you know, the Delhi golf club, sipping their gin and tonic and, and talking about world affairs through their big sunglasses. So yeah, gin is a, uh, is a drink, it's a comfort drink for me. In fact, in this entire lockdown, it's been my holy grail drink and I'm going to introduce you to what's been my lockdown liquor. So just like me, my favorite gin, Monkey 47, has mixed origins and experiences. Uh, it has, of course, a lot of British tradition, which I picked up in my time that I spent there. Indian exoticness, say hello to your Delhi girl and of course the nativeness of the black forest. I think the reason that I really fell in love with this gin, other than the fact that it's super premium and um, you know, it's one of the finest gins that I have had. The other reason is it's sort of eccentric and uh, fun. And that's something I totally relate to and I totally love. You know, the, the number 47 actually comes from the 47 different botanicals that the gin has been infused with. I mean, um, there are many, many ways of having this drink, but of course. But let me show you my secret recipe of how I like to drink it. So I love to drink it in the form of my favorite day cocktail. I love this cocktail because it's easy breezy and doesn't make me feel weighed down by the time the sunset hits. It's called Bee's Knees and I am going to share my recipe with you. So what you need for the cocktail is of course, Bola Monkey 47. And so here we go, 60 ml of the Monkey 47. You know when you open the bottle you can just smell the entire bouquet of the botanicals. It's Amazing. All right. The other thing we need is 10 ml of honey and 20 ml of lime juice. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put in lots of ice.
shake, 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 shake. Give it a really good shake. Ooh, the anticipation is killing me already. Okay, there we go. And strain it into the glass. to go. Mmm, that is good. I love how taste and smell can instantly take you back to a memory. I remember the last time I had the bee's knees was when I was on a trip in the Maldives just a few days before the lockdown was announced. I can't wait to go back on vacation and be sipping this on the beach. But until then, I'm going to sit here Enjoy this and just savor the moment. <laughs> so guys, thank you for stopping by and having a drink with me. I can't wait for you to try your own version of Bee's Knees and uh, yeah, DIY your own cocktail hour at home. Take care.